Hello everyone. Today I'll be demonstrating the Workday Query Language Snap that was released in the January release of the SnapLogic IIP. The Snap is part of the Workday Snap Pack. Some of the key benefits of using Workday Query Language or WQL over a simple REST request are uh, better security, creating custom reports via queries, uh, complex SQL-based data manipulation, and more precise data retrieval. Now that I've mentioned all of that, let's dive in. So first things first. You want to make sure that you have access to WQL. Um, so go ahead on the search bar, look for view domain. Once you've found that, um, under domain, look for Workday Query Language. Hit OK. Um, here, uh, take a look at the allowed security group types field. Here it is, um, unconstrained groups. And make sure that you are added to that security group, whatever it is on your end. Now let's take a look at our snap. So we support uh, two separate types of accounts, Workday REST Access Token and Workday REST OAuth 2 accounts. Now let's take a look at the snap settings real quick. So we have this open API path field that is suggestible. Um, that data endpoint here supports executing SQL queries on Workday fields and objects. And with data sources, endpoint, you can get a list of sources that are available along with their filters. Uh, the SNAP supports two types of requests, GET and POST. This is also su suggestible. Uh, you can use GET when the query is below 2048 characters. Uh, you should use POST when it's uh, larger than that. The other major difference between uh, the two is that GET supports limit and offset fields down here, and POST does not. Now, on the snap, under the query box, you can enter your query. Uh, here, this is the query that I've entered um, to take a look at the annual compensation of all the workers uh, at a given company. Um, and in the limit field, uh, you can set your own limits. Uh, here, I've just put 400 as an example. You can also define any offset values that you would like. Um, and then you also have, um, you know, retry options just in case something goes wrong uh, and the retry interval that you can set as well. You can also enable pagination. Uh, so specifically for cases where you expect there to be more than one single page. Uh, the default number, default number of re results displayed um, is 20 and the maximum number of results displayed um, on a single page is 100. However, if you have, let's say 600 records, you might want to enable the pagination checkbox here. All right, having said all of that, I am going to now um, just validate this real quick and see what types of uh, results I get. All right, so looks like this is done. Um, and these are the results I got. So if I go ahead here and click on the t uh, JSON uh, and expand all, um, and here you can see all the results um, that I had stored on my uh, Workday instance. Um, I can go back and uh, copy this query and execute this uh, on the Workday platform as well, uh, just to kind of check um, the results and compare the two. All right, so here I can enter my query um, and hit OK. You can see, uh, just like we had eight results on the SnapLogic platform, there are eight results here as well. Thank you so much.